let's chat about this PSG Newcastle match. This is interesting. Um, the first time these two teams played Newcastle with the massive 4 1 win at St. James's Park. They are now at Parc de Prance, and it just feels like, Christine, this is. Um, this is a different PSG team than the one we saw back in October against Newcastle. They have, they're coming off a 5-2 win over Monaco over the weekend. They're scoring a lot of goals. They're seemingly coming into form. How big of a challenge is this going to be for Newcastle? Uh, I think Newcastle really have a chance. You know, they, they kind of know how to operate on this PSG side. Again, PSG have been really, really spotty, I'd say, in terms of their appearances and who shows up when they show up. Um, I think that they've kind of figured out how to dismantle them a little bit. So mm -hmm. I think uh, the group of death, yes, this is a scary group, but I think that Newcastle will still have a shot. I mean, yes, but I don't think you're giving PSG enough credit. I think they've, they've I think it depends on which PSG show up. But but the the good PSG has showed up for the last eight games. They're scoring three goals a game for the for the last like two months. They have more of an identity now. Dembele is functioning at a higher rate. So is Mbappe is like besides the point, but Vitinha in the midfield. Um, obviously, no Warren Zaire Emery, right? That's that was the big key, but they've shown mm -hmm. that they can play without him. We were talking yesterday. I, it does feel like the moment that they're meeting right now, they're trending in the wrong direction. I'll give I'll give Newcastle a lot of credit though, because despite a lot of their injuries, they've been able to stay themselves. Um, it, it just I feel like it will be a a much taller task than anything that they've faced in Europe to this point. This is the, by far their biggest game of the season where, you know, they, they need to get a result to, to keep this all in the balance. Yeah, I'll say that Newcastle is a little different this year in the sense that you're not 100% sure which Newcastle is going to show up. Are they the team that's going to win down a man? Are they the team that's, you know, going to give up uh, an opportunity when they're when they're up a man? We're not 100% sure. Eddie Howe has a couple more questions this year versus PSG. They've just continued to sort of build. They've continued to sort of in continue to get better and better as the season went on. So I think this is a tall task for Newcastle to try to go to, uh, you know, Parc de Prince and get a, a, a PSG that's hot right now mm -hmm. and try to beat them, especially with so much on the line. But this is a big test for Luis Enrique. You know, is he going to sort of, are we going to see that that sort of development that he's had with PSG, this newfound confidence that PSG has back? Is that what, is he going to be able to translate that into European football? Yeah. I think he will. Yeah, and for PSG, I mean, it's it's Champions League. Like, that is the yeah. that is is success or, or, yeah. in Champions League yeah. is the... That's what is, they've continued to success. build a squad for, right? 100%. So if you don't succeed here, then where? Yeah, beating Claremont foot <laughs> is a highlight for them. <laughs> Are you no sure? Dis Champions no League. disrespect. No disrespect to, to Claremont, Claremont foot. foot. Yeah, yeah. It's a very Or Claremont ankle race. or Claremont calf, all y'all. <laughs> but <laughs> but P Champions League is why PSG is why the, what the fans are waiting for. Yeah. And that process that they asked for, we want more French people. We want we want it to feel more like a Parisian team and less like a like a Hollywood team. Mm -hmm. Th this is sort of what they're starting to get now. And if they if this team can can start to make some real noise in the Champions mm -hmm. League, there's, there, there, plus there's less ego. I feel like on this team, so much less ego. Messi gone, Neymar gone. Mbappe is in the driver's seat. He's mm -hmm. the main guy, and I think he's happy that he's the main guy. Is I he thriving I as so. he, he wanted to be the guy? So is he thriving as he, he was the always guy. the guy? He just needed to share How? being the guy with three people uh, at the same time. Yeah, you, you, you can't be the guy when there's guy three the guys. Yeah, exactly. Like, we so, saw that with even with. I think um, Luis Enrique has figured this out because. The rest of the supporting cast, mm -hmm. they're they're workhorses. They're not big stars. Like Ugarte is a class center defensive mid. We've shown, we've seen. He has shown that he's got the bite. He's got the grit. He's got the the work rate. But he's not. I don't know. He's not Kante. He's not. A, he's you know where sure. Kante reached. Everybody knows who he is, and and he reached that level of. But Ugarte, similar to Kante, actually. Is not about nor the fame nor the, the he just he wants to work hard and just like several other players, Vitinha I feel like also it's just like about the football. It's working. It, the the ego yeah centric level of PSG has significantly dropped. Has decreased. Um, guys, we're gonna bring in our good friend right now from Miami. Charlie Davies is just hanging out at the beach. He is a, a part Whoa. of our Champions League coverage <laughs> today with the crew down there. Hello, Charlie. How's the weather? That is good for the soul. So I'm, I'm loving it. It's very nice. <laughs> Spoken like a true New Hampshire boy. <laughs> Happy for you. Facts. 
Okay, so what? I mean, look at you. You're you're so Miami already. I love I love the fit, the shirt, everything. What are you? What's on tap for you today? What do they have you doing down there? Well, I know Anita and I are going to be on the stage. We got to pump up a lot of people that are expected to show up. Um, you know, we're going to have some good segments talking about the games today. Uh, I think just overall, just making it a top experience. I'm excited to have these conversations with Thierry and Clint and Micah and Kate. So, um, you know, it's it's a good group. We had a great dinner last night, a lot of vibes, um, good, some good storytelling. I know this was CBS. <laughs> More importantly, who's Very serving nice. who's serving as the dad of the group to keep you all in order right now? Um, <laughs> that's correct answer. I think everyone's under control. Everyone's under control. Mm. Uh huh. A likely story. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. We were just uh, we were chatting. I, I like what I like what I'm hearing from the desk. Do you, are you? Yeah. I can tell you. I, I'm I'm pumped. I'm pumped about the games. You guys had some great insight. Okay. So what's your insight on this PSG Newcastle match? Because I think I was making the point that I think this is a different PSG team than the one that played Newcastle back in October and and lost 4-1. And um, what do you what do you think Newcastle are up against here? I think the heavy favorites are PSG in this match. I think Newcastle just have too many injuries at the moment. Trying to balance that. This is a tough ta task. I mean. This is what happens when you have to balance the Premier League and Champions League. Mm -hmm. and, and for Newcastle, a lot of it is, is new. And the, the workload, the management, I think PSG just are so dominant with that attacking trio. So I think right now Newcastle are going in and, and just trying to get a result. But PSG are going to be coming aggressive, trying to get end the game in the first half, which is what they need to be uh, doing.